Hello my artist friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Victor and in today's video I'm going to show you how I've painted this beautiful geode. I really love the finish of it. It is really glossy and I will show you how I've painted it. As you probably know, I don't use resin anymore. So that's why I'm, I was trying to find new techniques to have a beautiful result, a beautiful sheen on it. And that's really difficult with acrylic paint. But yeah, uh, I've tried my best and I really like this uh, geode painting. But before that, uh, I need to mention that you will have the full course on my Patreon page. It will be a full video of two hour and a half footage of me painting this one. I will mention all of the brands that I use, all of the products. So if you are interested, uh, click in the links uh, down in the description. You have everything. Uh, mentioned and yeah uh, thank you to all of my patrons here who support my art who support my channel and uh, yeah I'm really grateful to have you without further ado let's start now the video so as you can see here I've already prepared my canvas I've used a thick paint with a large uh, spatula or a palette knife to create some movement and some 3D texture and uh, that's what uh, helps to have a beautiful sheen uh, when you apply the varnish at the end. So yeah, here you can see I'm using regular acrylics uh, acrylic paint sorry with water. I do a simple uh, first coat wash just to have nice blend and a nice background and then I'm working with more colors and more uh, thick paint just to have the uh, full opacity of the colors so here I'm using some uh, black white and um, paints gray color it is like enough blue color that I really like here I'm going to use some water on a large brush just to help my uh, blends uh, to go really flawless with a darker color. That's one of my uh, most used technique is that I'm uh, wetting my canvas with this brush and then I'm painting, painting on the edge of this uh, wet um, line. And then with a dry brush, I try to blend my colors like this and you will see it really gets uh, flawless after afterward. So I will use here my smaller brush to paint and then a dry brush to blend everything. So I'm going to continue build my uh, transparency and different lines in the geode until I'm really satisfied with the result. For a beautiful uh, realistic look, we need to have some beautiful blurry lines and then we have to have also some harsh line like you see here. Uh, I try to blend sometimes one side and uh, keep the other side of uh, the line really sharp. And yeah, I'm also using here a little brush uh, that's called a lining brush. I really like this brush to make fine details and fine lines. You can load lots of paint on this type of brush and it's really working well. So now I will go over and over with some more white and some more blue color. I tried to figure out where, where to ply, place my color, sorry and how the comp composition will work or not so yeah i will also use some rose sienna just to balance the blue color and have a warmer tone uh, color and here on the corner you can see that i've used some red and brown mixed together i really like to use uh, brown red and orange color mixed with the blue it really works well together. 
So here I'm going to take some blue and um, paint gray and I will try to make a glaze. Uh, that means I'm going to put lots of water on onto my paint. Then I'm going to use uh, one damp brush into the really watery paint. And I'm also going to use a dry brush and I will try to blend my color and have a slight uh, transparent blue onto my painting just so it gives a more saturated look to the painting. You can see here that it is really transparent. You will see what I'm talking about in a minute. So I try to really blend this uh, type of color and it is really transparent so you don't need to apply that much uh, pressure onto your brush and you can clearly see here how it uh, gives more life to the painting. So here I'm going to use a little Posca pen. I like to use it with a little dry brush just to blend the colors. It is really easy to blend because uh, Posca pen are um, really transparent pens with uh, really flowy paint on it in it. Uh, so yeah, uh, I like to use this to create this type of effect you can also create some more lines with it and play with the transparency here I'm just adding tiny dots of red onto uh, the little design that I've draw on top here you can see and also on this corner because I thought it was a little bit too off for me so here I'm making the last details with my Posca pen and adding some more white just to have a more strong uh, highlight. So now it is time to apply my gold on top of my 3D lines and for this I'm going to use my gilding paste. This is the gold leaf uh, glue. As usual, I apply it, then I wait uh, 15 minutes till it's dry and then I'm applying my gold leaf on top, as you see here. And then with a little uh, soft brush, I try to remove all of the excess gold and uh, try to really uh, remove all of the little gold dust uh, that stays stuck on my canvas. Then I will clean everything. I will apply uh, two to three coats of varnish. For this one, I'm going to use um, spray varnish because it is easier. And you get really a strong gloss and uh, no brush strokes at all. You get a really smooth uh, gloss onto your painting. And now it is time to show you the full result. I haven't filmed uh, the part where I'm applying the varnish, but yeah. And here it is. I really like the shine of this piece. I've turned on the lights uh, above me just to have to show you how it is shiny. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, feel free to leave a comment and like this video. I wish you all a great day and see you. Bye. Bye guys.